So again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Giving myself not quite enough time to do a yellow sky for a skate. No schmutz allowed. No idea exactly what this is going to be like. Might be good if I put my glasses on my face. I lost them for a minute. They were on my head. Go figure. I often have wanted to use a whole bunch of white. Now, I think I'm going to use just this little sheet of paper. Let's see how far that goes. Now, I can blow into this and I can swipe this. I could do all kinds of stuff to see what it will look like. And I might do that. I might do that right now with a palette knife just to see. That is Anita's white metallic that I put in there. And I don't know what that is. In any case, I might put some more white in there to create clouds because I would like enough paint to flow across. And I'm not sure we... I haven't started like this before, so this is a new adventure. I do have another channel. It's called Paint Adventures Priscilla Bats Up by Priscilla Batsell or something similar. It's not doing great, but it's not doing bad. I think I just passed my 750. They're trying to get me get me to celebrate 750 uh, subscribers. Woohoo! I want to welcome anybody who's new to my channel right here where you're at uh, with 91,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching longer. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. I really like what's going on here. I don't know what's going to happen after I tip it up. Now, if I use an edge catcher and I get some paint residuals on that edge catcher, I can always take them right off with a spatula and put them right back into the artwork. I especially like doing this because when I start to create that seal of paint, I can roll it down and I can roll it back and I can squeeze it. And squeezing it does two things. It covers the top edge or any edge I'm doing and I can also force it right back down into the artwork. I think I would like to be able to make that go all the way across. If I do it down low, then I can roll it up high. If I do it up high, I can roll it down low. It's a little precarious working left-handed. I'm already. So I can squeeze it and, whoops, and force it down. And I can take off whatever's on my edge catcher, paint catcher, whatever you have you, just by using one of my OXO omelet turning spatulas. Put some of that up there. Put the rest down here. It looks to me like it would be a good idea to torch because there are bubbles I see in the paint. Once I torch, I can tell that that does not belong, whatever it is. And also, that I'm not overly super stoked about this flat line right there, so I'm just going to let that pour right off, and maybe I'll use that paint to cover an edge if I need to. You can do a whole bunch of things, or you can do nothing with a sky like this. You can definitely blow into it with a straw and uncover even more colors. It's not like I used a whole lot of them. I kind of want some pink at the horizon, but I'm not sure I can get away with it. I don't ever mind coloring, covering the bottom of a scape because whatever shows through from a shovel pour or a swipe, I'm putting some more white in there. Because I like a white horizon. So I flow it up before I flow it down. By flowing it up, it sort of attaches itself to the puddle above it, and then it pulls it down. That's my theory anyway. I tend to think it works. And that way, I have an even more subtle cloud bank. And I can scrape my spatula off. Now what you say? 
I don't know. I really want those paint chips to stop appearing spontaneously. Come out now. Thank you. <laughs> Must be. I gotta clean my uh, spatulas a lot better than I have been, evidently. I've been in a lot too much of a hurry. Come here, you. Probably coming right off my hands. All right, so that looks like the beach to me. So what I could really do is just put a line of blue at the back and call it the ocean. That might be kind of neat. So let's let this fall down as much as possible. And let's find my, my turquoise lake or my... Let's put a bunch of blue in there. Blue and turquoise. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is on the link tree link. This is another Anita's color. Be nice if it would keep coming out. I've obviously got something to stop it. Come on. It's going to change my composition somewhat. I'm also capable of sticking. Let's just think that that's the, the tide has gone out and we have a really big beach. And usually I would use a skewer, but right now the palette knife was handy. And I still want to put that pink in at the horizon and I think I'm going to indulge myself in a little bit of Really? <laughs> we got seagulls or what? Yeah, no more seagulls. I am going to grab some either Venetian blue or Prussian blue, and I think it's going to be the Prussian blue. And for this, I'll probably use a skewer. And I might want to even go get a nice clean new skewer way over here in my storage closet. And if we get any bumps, we'll just imagine that we have islands in our ocean. So I'm just seesawing back and forth. which is adding some texture to the water. And I could pick it up. I can also take some of that paint right off the skewer. Put it right now on the edge. This is just a super, super simple painting. And I don't know exactly how I'm gonna fake out my the edge of my waves. Maybe I will tip that down here first. I think I want some more color in there, though. I'm having too much fun. That's what's happening. And I can just keep putting that skewer in as long as I didn't lose it. Wrong skewer. Right skewer. I like the green because it looks like a reflection of the yellow sky. And I can move my, my ocean in just by letting my skewer down. Mix my water up. I could probably just bring that right around. There's nothing that says I have to have it be even. I have some color from my sky on my edge catcher, which I'll use on the bottom half of this. I really want some white. Oh, I just remembered what I could do. Okay, so I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna dip the edge of my spatula in there. And I'm just gonna put it right along. The edge of the waves. We'll pretend we've got a really big wave right there, crashing on some rocks or something. I'm 
just going to use it all. Cool. Okay then. So that is the super simple scape that I was dreaming about without even realizing it. I never did put that pink at the horizon line, but you know what? I think I want to do the same thing with the horizon line that I just did with the waves. Only this time I'm going to mix them both. And just tap in. Oh yeah, that's lovely. I'm happy with that. Because I'm tapping it in, I can't really make a mistake with... Well, I spoke too soon. Okay, fine. Be that way. I'll just have to put a little more white in there. With the correct end of the skewer. So who's to say I don't have a reflection in the waves from the sky? Really, I'm just having that kind of moment. <laughs> uh, mostly got it off. Yay. I want more. When some of it works, I just crave more. So we've got some pink clouds on our horizon. Usually you can't get away with mixing yellow and purple without creating something you don't want. Just give them a little texture. Cool! So. Fast escape. I'll be fixing my bottom after. What am I going to do with that? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to restrain myself. That's a seashell. <laughs> I can probably put some other stuff. I never did do any flow trail swiping in the bottom half. Anything, anything residual on the beach is a rock or a seashell or something. It's a big beach. So I'll show you guys this. I'll try and show this to you. It is what it is. It's a super simple yellow sky seascape. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the contributions that help keep me painting and all the wonderful comments. And if you're looking to get into the monthly drawing uh, and you're capable of contributing through PayPal or Patreon, the icons are on the bottom right hand corner of my channel header on YouTube. And also the links are on the link tree, which is directly below the video. Under the, video, under the video also you will find the description of my paint pouring recipe. If you open show more, you'll find my email address under the link tree. The link tree contains all my Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more is for people who want to shop pixels.com and find out America, which is also on my link tree. So redundant there. On my link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Instagram is where I post my dailies. Uh, when I have them, Pinterest is where I, I post the videos most days. Uh, Fans and Collectors is where you can find albums. They all start with Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. The Community Board will have tomorrow's video, and so will Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures to prevent cracking. It is a pouring medium. I do not use it solely. I use Floetrol. Also, please give me a thumbs up and like my videos, share my videos, watch them longer, and um, your comments are wonderful. Thank you so much for keeping my morale boosted. Make sure to check out some of my playlists. If you have a question about a link, ask me, because I have over 1,500 videos and 18 lists of 100, and the rest are organized by genre and topic, and I will help you if you wouldn't like some. Also, Teespring Clothing underneath the video. Um, 
If you're interested in having anything, any piece of my artwork turned on into an all-over print legging or t-shirt or all the other stuff that's there, you might want to go check that out. Um, I'm here to help you. So any shopping you do helps me out. My Amazon link is on the link tree. And if you shop there at no what it cost you, you can find my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, Volume 1 and 2. I think I have remembered almost everything. There's probably always something I forgot. But I love you, and that's really important not to forget. I will see you guys anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'll be touching up my edges where I don't have enough paint after you're gone. Bye for now. Priscilla out.